Hi folks, how's it going? I thought this evening we'd run through the chords for the Layla outro. Someone wanted to see a little breakdown of that, so I figured now would be a good time to do it. So let's just go ahead here and check it out. I'm gonna start on a C chord. And the first little bit of it is gonna sound like this. Okay, that's played over a C and an F chord. And on the C chord, you're gonna play it like this. It's a regular C, then you're gonna go. So you're adding your pinky to the second string on the third fret. And then playing the first string open. So you're basically going. Then you're gonna switch to an F chord, or the bottom half of an F chord. So you basically got the first and second strings on the first fret, third string on two, fourth string on three. And now uh, you're going to start with your pinky already down on the first string, third fret. Okay, and then you're going to walk those notes down while holding the F shape, you're going to go. Okay, so we're going to go from the F with the pinky down. So a regular F with a pinky up, so now you have it on the first fret, and now you're going to open the first string, so it's kind of like an F major 7 or whatever, so the first string is open, and now we're going to play add pinky to the second string, third fret, and then release that pinky so it's back to the second string on the first fret. Okay, so it's... that through again if you want. We're going to get to a B flat 7, so that's going to be the 5th string at 1, 4th string at 3, 3rd string at 1, 2nd string at 3, and then the first string at one, though I don't usually strum that high up when I play it, but so B flat seven. And then there's a little lick right here that goes. And that's, you're basically gonna wanna just take your first finger and bar the second and third strings on the first fret. And the first note of it is gonna be the third string on one. And then you're going to play the second string on one. And then the second string on three. So like that. And then we're going to slide three to five. And then go back to three. On the second string. And then second string at one. Third string at one. And then third string open first string open as you make a C chord. Alright, so we got the B flat 7, and then a little lick, alright, then it's going to walk down. That C, you're gonna go fifth string is just gonna go three two open to an A minor chord, and this is the next group of chords. You're very similar to the first group. You're gonna be doing a lot of pinkies and walking notes down. Okay, so we got, and then this part's gonna go. All right, so we got the A minor. Add your pinky to the second string on third fret and then play the first string open. And then we're going to make a D minor shape chord and we're going to start with our pinky down on the first string third fret and then we're going to walk that note down. It's going to go D minor with the pinky down, then regular D minor, so release the pinky so it's at one. 
and then lift that first finger so it's open. So we got. We're going to go to a G chord. Alright, so we got the G. I usually give it a good strum and then play the first string open. Then the first string at one, twice, then the first string open. So we got. Then we're going to go. And that's just the C chord with your pinky down on the second string, third fret jump right to an A minor there. Alright, so we got the... Then we're gonna go... So off the A minor, you're gonna do the same thing again. Pinky down, second string, third fret, and then the first string open. And then the first string open again as you're forming your D sustain something or other. It's like a D chord, but with that first string open. And then you're gonna pick that down and you're gonna go. So that's gonna be the first string open, second string at three twice, third string at two once. All right, so we got the A minor. second and third strings on the fifth fret and you can play some of the D open too if you want here so we've got two and three at the fifth fret and then we're going to sh slide down and have the second string at three third string at four that gets played twice that's going to slide down two frets so now we have the second string at one third string at two Strum it twice and then release those so it's open as you're forming a G chord right there. So it's going to sound like. fun with it that's all the parts for the song so enjoy have a good night